John offered all you had the opportunity this evening to be inducted into the Mid American Conference Hall of Fame. Talk about the honor and what it means to you to be a part of the Hall of Fame class. Oh, geez. You know, again, for somebody growing up in Wisconsin and never really dreaming about playing football at a collegiate level and having the opportunity through the Mid American Conference on a half scholarship, full scholarship, all of a sudden being on the field and creating memories and records and the next thing you know, you look back 30 years later and you see yourself as um, an honoree of a Mid-American Conference Hall of Fame. I, it, it's daunting, it's humbling, uh, I feel very honored to be included, and it's something that, yeah, I played in the Pro Bowls, I played in big games, but it's, it's, as you get older, it's amazing to look back and see how college, this conference, Western Michigan has shaped my life. You stepped on the football field right away as a freshman and had an impact all four years. Don't know if you might have had that opportunity at other schools, but right. Western gave you that chance. Right. Well, don't forget, Western gave me a half scholarship. I mean, I wasn't on the radar. And, it, and if I was, I was 185, 190 pounds. Uh, too light for the bigger the leagues, the bigger teams. Western Michigan reached out to me. I believed I could play Division I. The first practice, I, I, you know, you go up against the competition, you start dreaming and seeing and realizing and believing. And that conference, that college, gave me that platform, and I found myself first game starting captain of the Western Michigan Broncos. How did Western Michigan prepare you for your eventual career in the NFL and those Rookie of the Year honors and all those Pro Bowls? How did it prepare you for the next Well, a lot of it had to do with the coaching staff that came in with me, Jack Harbaugh. Obviously, we know him now. Back then, we didn't. I did. <laughs> and Coach Madison was my linebacker and recruiter coach. Um, those guys shaped me so early. Um, I remember uh, as I was trying to prepare for that first game, going to my coach, asking him probably too many questions. And he kind of snipped at me. And I remember pulling a tear out of my eye. And I went back to him one-on-one. -on -one. I said, Coach, I'm going to be your captain on the field. you got to work with me. And I, you tell me where I'm going to get that type of coaching and that type of leadership and example and somebody who's willing to build into a freshman so that I became the captain on the defense on the field. When you look back at your career at Western Michigan, yeah. what would you say is your greatest accomplishment or achievement? In time well, we talked a couple times about my first game. How about my last? My last game, I was selected to be on the Senior Bowl, um, a primer for the NFL. It's a bowl game, the best athletes. And the Heisman Trophy winner that year was Bo Jackson from Alabama. And uh, early in the week of practice, they started teeing me up to be the linebacker to stop Bo on his dive into the end zone on fourth downs. And when it came up in the game twice, I ended up being on the top of the pile, which is great because you got a Western Michigan helmet next to the Heisman Trophy winner. And uh, the picture is frozen, and thank goodness someone took it. And it's a great example of where a college and a player can go in this league. And that is, you know, play with your heart, get the right coaching, and you can stand up against the Heismans of the Alabamas and the bigger leagues. And uh, so as those players with the different helmets pile up and you see us at the top, it's a great example of what can happen in the school given the opportunity and the right chance and a lot of hard work and a little bit of grace of God.